Hey guys, it's Ruba. So today I'm just going to be talking about why I haven't posted a video in over a month and kind of updating you guys on what's been going on. Um, I'm not really even sure if a lot of people care to see this video or um, are even curious about what's been going on, but I just really felt like I needed to do this um, and so I'm going to do it. So the last time I posted, I kind of talked about how I was at home doing my clinical rotation and that clinical rotation took a lot out of me. Um, I was working from 8 to 5 and the place was an hour away from my house so I literally had to wake up super early and leave my house by 7 and then I usually wouldn't get home until like 6.30 because of traffic. And then also that clinical rotation um, kind of really tested my anxiety and depression and all of that because I felt like I wasn't in the best work environment and there was definitely some people at the place that did not make it easy to kind of be there. And for those of you guys who don't know, I had a clinical rotation for physical therapy school and so that was just very emotionally draining and I was definitely in a environment that I didn't feel appreciated or valued, didn't really feel like I was a good student, um, just kind of was put down all the time um, by a certain individual who I'm not going to name, but that just was super, super hard on me and it made it hard to even think about anything other than work. Um, I felt like that was kind of what was on my mind all the time, I didn't sleep well at all, I just kind of was consumed by that. and. I feel like I have definitely more of like an obsessive personality when it comes to things like that. Like if I feel like I'm not being valued or people don't, aren't appreciating me or just don't like me or are like talking badly about me, it definitely takes a toll on me. And so I felt like that whole month, month and a half period was just really difficult for me. And so I didn't even really think about YouTube at all. Another thing is, is when I first started YouTube, I felt like I was so excited and so ready to kind of like share what I had to say and I'm just going to be honest, like I felt like I got to a point where I felt like no one cared what I had to say, like it felt like I was just making videos that were kind of like pointless that no one really cared to watch and I'm not saying that that's necessarily true, I'm just saying that that's how I felt and sometimes I feel like when you're a person who does struggle with like anxiety and depression and all of that, it is easy to kind of, even like in your mind, like make yourself believe that that's true and so I felt like I was just getting into like a super like toxic and negative way of thinking. And for me, honestly, like YouTube from the start wasn't really about other people and so the fact that I was getting in this mindset and then also was just in kind of a crappy um, clinical setting or whatever. I just felt like I needed a break from YouTube to just kind of focus on myself and to regroup and really work on my mental health and to really just kind of get a break from everything. So in my time away from YouTube, like the month and a half or almost two months, I really focused on just trying to go to the gym and eating healthy and watching TV and just having days where I literally just laid in bed and watched Netflix or Hulu for like hours and not really worry about what other people kind of thought and that really was beneficial for me and, and I don't know I just had this desire to start making videos again because it initially did start out as something that I just did for me and I feel like that was a better way of thinking, at least for the type of person I am, rather than doing it for other people or being so concerned about if other people are watching my videos or if people dislike them and all of that. Like, instead of worrying about that, I think for me it was more beneficial in the beginning when I was just worried about making videos for myself and doing it for fun and having just kind of like my ideas and my creative things down in a video and so that's kind of why I wanted to start again because I do really enjoy it and I do love making videos and editing and adding music to and all of that and so I thought that I would start again but I really did feel like I had to make this video as kind of like an explanation for like where I've been and what's been going on and for those of you who guys actually do watch 
my videos and all of that. I apologize for not posting for a while. And it really does mean so much to me when people come up to me, like some of my friends or family or whatever, and tell me that they love my videos or like say something. Just because I feel like sometimes in my head when I like post a video, I just feel like it's just gonna be me and my mom and my dad and my sister who are gonna watch it. But then when like other people like DM me on Instagram or say something, it really does mean literally the world. So um, thanks for that. And yeah, I know this video is just kind of like blabbering on. I just kind of wanted to explain why I haven't posted and to let you guys know that I do want to post more consistently and I might just do once a week just because I feel like that's just better for my mental health and I'm obviously still in school and so it's obviously hard to film very often but yeah thank you guys so much for bearing with me and for understanding um, I really do appreciate all of you and yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, hopefully I'll be out with another video soon um, but be sure to follow me on Instagram for like more updates on life stuff and I'll post that down below and then subscribe if you feel compelled to um, and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll talk to you guys next time bye